Hey, folks, Eric, the word of a guy, because it really is whatever me and do. You folks want to know why we are asking for your help in the state of Florida? You guys stick around, man, and we'll talk about that. As you guys know, my name's Eric, and the whatever guy. You'll see videos a couple of days a week, basically keeping guys updated in the world of Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10, hemp cannabis, just what's going on around. And today, man, sitting here bullshitting around on early Monday morning. I'm not going to lie to you about it, man. It's been a crazy weekend. Um, as you guys know, we did a video Thursday talking about this new hemp bill that has passed the House and the Senate. Uh, this bill is up in front of the uh, Governor DeSantis right now. Uh, we need you guys to contact Governor DeSantis. It's simple as going over and just, uh, you know, just Googling uh, how to contact Governor DeSantis. You'll be able to email him. Uh, I personally have emailed him from every account uh, that, you know, email account that I own. And not to mention every person that's come into our store, we have asked them to email uh, Governor DeSantis. So hopefully, you know, this bill that's sitting on the Governor DeSantis desk will be, you know, uh, vetoed by him. Uh, simply because, you know, there's $10 billion worth of impact going on in the state of Florida with all these hemp products. Like this, this bill would essentially kill uh, THCA flower, Delta 8, uh, basically the only thing we would be able to sell, I think, is hemp-derived Delta 9 in edible form, uh, and that would only be 10 milligrams per product and, and at like 50 milligrams per pack. Crazy situation because it basically eliminates uh, about 90 per, about 95 percent of everything that I make money on in the store like right now and as you guys know or may not know going forward I am planning on opening up a location in the next couple of days and as it stands right now it looks like we've already got our employees in place we've already got everything in place we're just waiting on a POS system uh, as soon as that POS system gets here we're going to open but if Governor DeSantis signs this bill in seven months we're out of business like six and a half months we're, we're out of business like all those employees that count on us to pay their bills they're gone every you know the hundred thousand jobs uh, that these products create in the state of Florida they're gone the $10 billion worth of impact uh, that, that goes on in the state of Florida with these with these products is gone. All the companies that have moved from Colorado and other states because Florida was wide open is now going to have to figure out some other way to get out of the state. Like they're, they're going to be now jumping out of the state again uh, and just taking that money out of the state. As it stands right now, you know, as it looks to this store, we got over in Contonement opening up in the next couple of days, you know, six and a half months, if we can make enough money, you know, our goal will probably be to shoot over the line and in, out into Alabama and sell uh, products over there because a lot of these companies, a lot of these people are, that are looking for these products are going to come straight across the state line to pick those products up because they're not going to be able to get them in the state. Um, and in the end, the crazy thing about it is, is like they haven't said anything about anybody shipping the shit to the state. So like, like companies like Boral Hemp and companies like us, we can still uh, ship those products into the state. So basically what you've done is, is you've taken the money out of the state. You've allowed the cannabis operators to sell these same type of products in their store. You shut us down so that they can operate and basically allowed all that money to leave the state. Those jobs, all that money, everybody that's leaving the state, because I'm, I'm telling you right now, the hemp space is three times larger than the cannabis space all the way around. There is no argument on that. Like the cannabis space in the United States is, is way, is three or four times bigger than the cannabis space nationally. That's just, that's a fact. There's more money and jobs being pushed forward with these hemp products in the United States and in the state of Florida than anywhere else in the world. Like we, we are basically doing business uh, a good business. Now, we agree that we should be regulated at some point, but this is a total ban on, on the products right here. So I'm going to flip over here in an article right quick over at I believe this is over at, let's see where it's at. It's over at uh, MJ Biz Daily. You guys can check this out. It says Florida bill bans Delta 8 and other compounds is actually sent to the governor. Now, for you guys who don't understand, the governor only has seven days from the time that he got this bill to either veto it or sign it. So we are on the clock right now. We are on the clock. Uh, we basically got to Wednesday, I think. He's got from now to Wednesday to sign this bill because I think he got it last Wednesday. Uh, so he's either going to sign this bill or he's going to veto a bill. So we need as many people as possible to get on your email, get on there and, and contact Governor DeSantis and let him know that you do not appreciate the fact that these people are playing, you know, adult, you know, playing parents to parents. I, I don't understand the whole concept of the of the legality of what's going on here, but it basically looks like True Leave and those companies in the cannabis space are all going in one direction and basically putting money in these guys' pockets to, to, to fund this type of legislation. Florida lawmakers have approved a wide-ranging bill that critics contend could destroy the state's hemp market. Senate Bill 1698 was approved by the House in a 64-48 vote, according to a Tampa Bay Times, and now hits to Governor Ron DeSantis to be signed into law. The measure to ban hemp-derived products containing Delta-8 and Delta-10 was unanimously approved by the Senate in February. This bill would ban a, var a variety <clears throat> excuse me, of Delta-8 and Delta-10 products, including gummies, tinctures, and vapes. It would also prohibit other cannabinoids such as THCV and TECP from being infused into hemp extracts and would cap intoxicating Delta-9 TEC products to 5 milligrams per serving or 50 milligrams per pack, the newspaper reported. It's actually 10 milligrams per serving and 50 milligrams per pack. So basically what you could have is 
five gummies in a pack with 10 milligrams of hemp derived delta nine each. And that would basically be the only, you know, basically hemp product that we could sell in the state. Hemp derived low dose THC advocates and business operators have criticized the legislation for potentially dismantling the, in the industry while propping up the medical marijuana sector. Florida voters could decide on adult use legalization in November, but that but that potential vote is waiting is awaiting a Supreme Court ruling on a challenge to the ballot initiative. At least 18 states prohibit Delta 8 under certain circumstances, according to uh, MJ Biz Daily. Guys, that's a short video, just a short uh, uh, rundown of what's going on with the Florida Senate. Like you guys know, may or may not know, THC is gone. Uh, Delta 8 is gone. THCP is gone. THCV is gone. Delta 10 is gone. Everything is basically gone except for uh, hemp-derived Delta 9 edibles. And I believe those, like I said, uh, 10 milligrams per gummy no more than five gummies per pack, which would be 50 milligrams of Delta 9 gummy. I'm not sure, you know, you guys tell me, like if there's anybody out there that thinks they can make money on that one product in their store, can, can, can keep their store alive, go ahead and let me know that down in the comments. I'd appreciate the, you know, some some levity on this right here because I, I personally do not see how I am going to make money uh, at a store or a location or even online anywhere in the state of Florida if this bill gets passed. And and as it moves forward, you know, we're moving into a position where we've got several employees that are counting on us to pay their bills. And it's and it looks like we may not be able to fulfill that uh, requirement. Like it, it seems like that's what's going to happen going forward. And, and then as you move forward into this, you know, we've only got six and a half months. Like how many people, how many people are going to want to come to work for a company as you're starting out? Or if you lose an employee, how many people are going to want to come to work for a company that's going to be out of business in six and a half months? That, that's, that's a crazy situation. You have crippled us all the way around. You have people out there that would have POS systems that they have signed year leases on. You have people out there that have locations they have signed year leases on. And those leases basically don't run out when you tell them to. So basically what you have done is, is you have capped us and basically put us in a position where we might be bankrupt in six and a half, seven months. We need you guys to reach out and contact Governor DeSantis as soon as possible. Please do it readily available as soon as you read this video. I will try to put a link for Governor DeSantis' uh, uh, link down in the bottom where you guys can get a hold of him quicker. Uh, but uh, basically all you have to do is Google uh, Ron DeSantis. The bill you're looking for is Bill 6, SB 1698. That's the bill that is going to kill uh, all the stuff in the state of Florida. So you guys, like I said, email him, SB Bill uh, 1698. All right, folks, whatever you guys signing off, and I will talk to you guys later, man. Love you. See ya.